What's up everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. I'm Kyle and um, if you want to support the channel please remember to hit the like button before you leave and uh, if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more guitar related content. So today I've got the new Epiphone 1959 Les Paul Standard Outfit and uh, if I had to vote for Mystery Guitar of the Year this would win because it was announced at NAMM in January and then it just disappeared. But uh, I'll go over all that in a little bit. First, I just want to open this guitar and finally get to play it and see it and uh, see what's in the box. So let's get started. All right, let's cut it open. Side of that. And we've got another box. Of course we do. Not going to complain about that. Dude. down. Sweet case. First of all, turn it around. See it on camera first. Ready? Ooh. That is nice looking. Damn, that sounds good. over myself here. Damn, I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? Let's check out what's in the case here. Got a switch tip and a key. That's your typical Epiphone stuff. It comes with a sticker. And their little card. There's no COA in here. Um, I know that I've seen a lot of people ask about that, so there's definitely not a COA in a made in China case. Case feels good. It's sturdy. Looks good. Oh, yeah. It's almost in tune. Wow. So, I'll show you a couple of things here I noticed out of the box. Got some plastic kind of hanging off the edge of the pit guard here, if you can see that. Not too bad though, I should be able to scrape that off. Um, neck looks good. Let's check the tuners. Some of the tuners were crooked in the pictures I saw online. These do not seem to be crooked. A little offset though. Let's see the front of the headstock here. Get out of the light. Hmm. 
Okay, I haven't done anything to this guitar but tune it up. And I have to say, it was pretty close to in tune out of the box. Everything was a half a step or uh, less flat. So I was pretty stoked about that. Pretty quick to do here. So uh, I'm just going to plug it in. You're going to hear it for the first time, same as me. Uh, I may have to adjust the levels a little bit, but I thought it'd be worth it just to, you know, see what it sounds like out of the box together. So let's check it out. All right, I don't have anything on, I don't think. Turn the wall off. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got the uh, neck pickup. Looks like everything is uh, on full. Let's just roll it, see what happens. What is that rattling? Something in the room is rattling. Hold on. I think that sounds great, but give me just a second. Sorry about that. Had a bunch of picks in guitars over here that were rattling. <clears throat> so let's get back to this. All right, we're on the neck pickup here. I think it sounds really good. So let me talk about this neck profile a little bit. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to get. I didn't know how thick it was going to be. And it feels great. Um, I'll compare it to this uh, SG Special in a little bit. I think this actually might be thinner than that. But uh, yeah, the neck feels really good. Feels really good. Let's play a little more. See that place standing up. All right, let's try the uh, middle position here. Uh, I want to say that the fretboard is also a little dry. I'm definitely going to set this guitar up, but I want to see what it was like out of the box. And so far, I'm impressed. The setup is way better than it was on that uh, special over here. Um, if you saw that video, man, I had a rough time getting that one set up, but uh, this one's pretty good right out of the box. Okay, so let's try the middle. All right, now let's go to the bridge and try that again. Okay, all right, <clears throat> back to the middle, let's try that again.
All right, and the bridge. All right, I think on that note, I'm going to go set this up and uh, mess around with some tones a little bit and get it dialed in a little better. But I think out of the box, it sounds pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It plays really well. Uh, the weight's good. It's balanced. I think it feels great. I think it looks great. All right, so it got kind of late last night, and I decided I'd do the rest of the video today. But I uh, watched some of the footage, and I uh, realized the video is getting kind of long already. And there's a lot more I want to do with this guitar. Uh, I want to check out the electronics and get under the pickups and just, you know, go over the specs in general and do a deep dive on this guitar. But if I do that today, it's just going to get way too long. So I figured I'd just give you my first impressions right now, and next week I'll do another video uh, deep diving this guitar a little more. So uh, out of the box, I really like it. It was set up really well, and I think it sounds great. The pickups are really nice. Uh, I like the finish. Um, some people said that it looked rough to them. feels fine. It's smooth to me. Uh, I like the neck profile. Uh, it's thick, but it's not too thick. Uh, it might be too thick for some people, but it's really good for my hands. Uh, this switch is really nice. Um, you know, electronics I've been pretty impressed with so far. Like I said, we'll check them out more next week. Uh, the fret works good. Had no problems here, no high frets. Um, the tuners feel good. So, like I said, overall, I really like it out of the box. My only complaint was the frayed plastic on the bottom of the pit guard. I mean, that seems like a simple thing that... Uh, they could have cleaned up at the factory, but maybe they think that was a simple thing I could have cleaned up at home. So no worries there. It was no problem to fix it. I just thought that that was kind of, you know, sloppy work a little bit. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, I'm really liking it. So the last thing I want to talk about today is just the release of this guitar. Um, you heard me say at the beginning that this was the mystery guitar of the year. And uh, let me tell you why I think that. So if you can remember back to January, which at this point seems like about three years ago, um, Andertons was at the NAMM show and they were putting out videos like every hour, which was awesome. But uh, one of the videos they put out was this guitar. And it piqued my interest because, um, you know, the 1959 Les Paul is like the mythical guitar that you're never going to get, right? I mean, even the replicas are out of my price range anyway. And a real one, I mean, we're talking mortgage money or way more than that. So... This might have been the only opportunity I had to have a 59 experience, so you know I was excited about that. Um, so I start looking online, trying to find this guitar, can't find it anywhere, no information about it, nothing. So I just assumed it hadn't released yet, kind of forgot about it for a little while really. So flash forward to June, I start looking for it again, thinking by now it's surely got to be out. And um, again, nothing, no information about the release of this guitar or anything. I found one website, mylespaul.com, that was a forum of people in the same boat as me trying to figure out what was going on with this guitar. So that really was the only place where you could find any information about this at all. So kudos to you guys for keeping it alive, I'll say that. So I start reading through the forum, and I see people are saying, oh, it showed up for a day, and now it's gone. It showed up for a day, now it's gone. Well, Sure enough, I see this happen. It would show up on Sam Ash, it would disappear the next day. It would show up on Sweetwater, it would disappear the next day. I didn't know if the guitar had already released and it was just so limited that, you know, if you didn't pre-order it the day it was out, it was gone. Um, but I didn't really think that was the case because I didn't see any official release information about it. No marketing, nothing. So, again, this goes on for months. I mean, it'll show up, it'll disappear. It always just says pre-order. 
Sometimes it would show up and say back order. I mean, it's just crazy, right? So, you know, the rumor on the forum was that Epiphone had pulled the release so they could swap the fretboard from Indian Laurel to Rosewood. Well, I'll tell you right now, this is still Indian Laurel, so I don't think that was true. So, again, I have no idea what was going on over the course of the year to keep this guitar so hidden. Um, and then all of a sudden, somebody said, October 20th is the date. I mean, nothing official. Again, just one person posted on the forum. I heard October 20th. That's all we had to go by. I checked the 19th at midnight. Nothing. So I get up on the 20th. Sure enough, it's on Sweetwater. It's on Guitar Center. It's all over the place. But I'm seeing statuses that would say pre-order, some that would say back-ordered again. Um, so again, it didn't seem like the guitar was actually released, even though now that it's on every site, it feels more like a release. So I checked Epiphone's site. And it was mentioned on their website, but it wasn't even on the front page. They didn't tout this thing at all, and I have no idea why. Um, because you would think, you know, getting a 1959-style Les Paul for under $1,000 would be a pretty popular product, right? I mean, you would think you'd want to market that. So I'm not really sure what happened there. So I checked the websites again at lunch, and I saw on Guitar Center, this one went from back order to in stock, you know, over the course of three hours. And um, so I ordered it, and I got it two days later. So I guess it's released now. But I just want to tell you that story just because I thought it was a little ridiculous that, you know, there was no information about this. But also to say that if you want one of these guitars, you may want to get on it sooner than later because I'm not sure if they're going to disappear again. As of today, they're all over every site. Some still say pre-order, some still say in stock, but um, for today, they're on there. And maybe they're going to be available for the next year and you'll have no problem getting them. I have no idea. But the experience so far is that they show up, they disappear, they show up, they disappear. So um, yeah, if you want to pick one of these up, you may want to look into it pretty soon. Um, but I really like it. And like I said, next week we're going to look into it a little more. Uh, please remember to hit the like button if you like the video and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, especially if you want to see the video about this next week. Um, it'll be up, I guess, next Sunday. So until then, take it easy and keep playing. That sounds good.